It's getting dark out. The investigation expedition three is almost over. I am bleeding really bad. I've hit my knee. I my feet got stuck. I hit my face, the side of my face. On a, uh, I hit the side of my face on a log. Uh, it's it's been bad. I've been injured multiple times. I have over 30 lacerations. My hunting knife. If you look, it's got that sharp object. I've been stabbed. I fell and it stabbed into my abdomen. Uh, we still have a few hundred feet to get down in the foothills area. It's almost dark. We've heard some branches snap and uh, Jared has the, the reindeer, reindeer, uh, the deer antlers. Very bloody. Looks like something tore him off. And, you know, deer getting in the fight. We can only speculate that it's a possible Bigfoot mutilation. We don't know for sure. But we can look at the facts and kind of say, hey, something's not right about this. Um, I'm sitting, my feet are hanging over in, <laughs> about an 8-foot drop. And um, me and Jared are going to go to 7-Eleven. We're going to get ourselves some drinks. It's been a very hard night. It's actually, I've had about 12 different injuries my my ankle i sprained it even worse i can barely walk that's coming down this wash this wash right here is dangerous bunch of dead branches brush and loose rocks and you're constantly stepping wrong and falling down or getting stabbed by wood it's bad it's real bad but we're trying to get out of here after this investigation we've worked so hard i mean I am begging you producers to give the Paranormal and Ghost Society a chance. We have given our whole lives to this cause. You know, we're not on some reality celebrity show and then we're going we're to get chosen because of that. We want to get chosen because of the hard work and our productivity and the fact of, I mean, you know, you look at that. I mean, I got blood dripping all the way down to my ankles, you know. This is... A real paranormal investigation this is what passion is about but anyways when you have real passion for something you you sacrifice make a lot of sacrifices and that's what tonight is and this is our probably our last video because it is getting dark and I could put on night vision but you know we just want to get back to our truck and get out of here um, a few nights ago when I was up here, there was a really weird guy, like we're talking serial killer type. And he came up to me and he said, you got a cigarette? And I, I had my gun ready, you know. And I said, no. And he still was like, I know you got a cigarette, you know. And I'm like thinking to myself, you know, this guy was in his truck seven hours before we hiked. And we came back and he was still in his truck. And as soon as we came back to our truck, he came out. So... You know, we have to put up with not just animals or rocks or, 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 or branches that cut us up. We have to also deal with nonchalant people that hang out at places like these at night and, and they're trouble. They want to, you know, they'll, they'll kidnap you, leave your car and go throw you in the woods and kill you. It happens all the time. I'm, thank God I'm not a woman, but it, it doesn't matter because my girl was with me and the guy was getting testy with her and I was like... Whoa, 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 dude, you know. Anyways, this is the Carson Valley below. The investigation is just about over. I want to thank Jared for all this help tonight. Good job, man. Good job. Okay. And uh, I want to say peace to all my fans. We're almost out of here. I'm a little bloody and bruised, but I think I'll live. And, uh, you know, this has been a great investigation. And uh, we may come back up here for a fourth. It may be this year, probably next year, you know. We've been up here three times, and uh, we got to work on some other places now. Uh, new adventures await. So I want to say good night, peace, love, happiness, and thank you for viewing the Chronicles of the Paranormal and Ghost Society.